Good day, students. Welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over some examples on the parallel lines cut by a transversal. All right, so the instructions are as follows. We are to find the value of x, okay? So let's take a look at the first example. Let's say we have um, the following transversal in two parallel lines. Okay, so um, let's say this is x right here, and this is 63 degrees, and we are to find x. Now, what is the measure of angle x here? Now, what is, in order to answer it, let's see if we can identify the relationship between this pair of angles. Well, this pair of angles are alternate interior angles, okay? So the condition is this line is parallel to this line. So um, let's write that down. The pair of angles, pair of angles are alternate interior angles, okay? And what do we know about alternate interior angles? Alternate interior angles, when you have parallel lines cut by a transversal, are congruent. Okay? So that automatically tells us that x is equal to 63 degrees because of what? Because alternate interior angles of parallel lines cut by a transversal. are congruent, okay? So these two um, angles are congruent to each other. Okay, for number two, let's say we have those parallel lines. So see this vertical line and this other vertical line are parallel to each other. And we have this transversal right here, okay? So let's say that uh, this angle is one of three degrees, and this is x. So we, uh, the question is to solve for x, just as we did number one, okay? First of all, what is the relationship between um, this pair of angles? These pair of angles are vertical angles, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, write that down. Um, the pair of angles, the pair of angles, are vertical angles. So what can we conclude? Well, we can easily conclude that x is equal to 103 degrees. Why? Well, because vertical angles are always congruent. Okay, vertical angles are congruent. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, question number three. So we are still trying to solve for x. Now we have two parallel lines and this transversal. So let's say the measure of this angle is 100 degrees. And this angle measure right here is the expression 9x minus 10. Okay. All right, so first of all, what's the relationship between these two angles. The pair of angles are what? The pair of given angles. Angles are same side interior angles. Okay? Same side interior angles. So what equation can we write to relate these two angles? Since your same side interior angles of um, two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Well, same side interior angles are supplementary, okay? Or they add up to um, 180 degrees. So we can say that 9x minus 10 plus 100 is equal to 180. Why? Because same side interior angles are supplementary. Of course, we're talking about only when we have parallel lines cut by a transversal as um, depicted here. 
So if we solve this equation, that will help us find the measure, I mean, the value of x. So to do this, we're going to use our algebra skills, combine like terms, cos negative 10 and 100. If you combine those two, you have 9x plus 90 equals 180. Next step was subtract 90 from both sides. Subtract 90, subtract 90. And then you end up with, um, straighten that line out. 9x equals uh, 90 degrees. And then to get uh, x isolated, the last step is to divide both sides by nine. So divide by nine, divide by nine. And your final answer is x equals 10. Okay, so that's the answer for question number three. Okay, let's take a look at uh, question number four. We're still trying to solve for x. So let's say that um, this angle right here is measured by the expression 12 x minus 4, and this angle right here is 11x plus 3, okay? So we are to solve for x where we have these two lines parallel to each other. Okay, so before we start solving, um, what's the relationship between the, the pair of given angles, this angle right here and this angle right here? What's the relationship? These angles are alternate exterior angles. Okay, so let's write that down. The pair of given angles are alternate, alternate exterior angles. Okay, so what conclusion can we make with this information? Well, whenever you have parallel lines cut by a transversal, alternate exterior angles are congruent, okay? Same with alternate interior angles. So since these two angles are congruent, we can write down the equation 12x minus 4 equals 11x plus 3. And the reason is because um, alternate exterior angles of parallel lines cut by a transversal or what? Are congruent, okay? So now let's go ahead and solve this equation with variables on both sides for x. So I wanna um, position x in such a way that it has a positive coefficient to save us a step. To achieve that, I will subtract 11x from both sides of the equation. Okay, and that yields what? 11, uh, 12 minus 11 is, is x minus 4 equals 3. And then to finish this off, we simply add 4 to both sides of the equation. And our final answer is going to be x equals 7, okay? So that's the value of x that satisfies the condition that is depicted in this um, diagram right here for number 4. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at question number 5. So question 5, we're to find the measure of angle CDF F, the measure of angle EFG, or actually um, the measure of angle BFG is equal to X plus 60, and the measure of angle CDF uh, is equal to X plus 130. Okay? All right, so in this problem, we're actually finding the angular uh, measure of a specified angle, okay, namely CDF. But we are going to be using BFG, this angle right here, and CDF, 
this angle that we're supposed to find to set up an equation. Now, what's the relationship between these two angles right here? These angles are same side interior angles, okay? And what do we know about same side interior angles? Um, as indicated earlier, they are um, uh, supplementary, okay? So let's first of all indicate what they are. Um, so we just simply say angle CDF and EFG are same side interior angles, same side interior angles. All right, now, with that being said, we can set up an equation. What is the equation? We can say that the measure of angle CDF plus the measure of angle EFG is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because um, same side angles of parallel lines cut by a transversal Transversal are supplementary. Okay, what does supplementary mean? They add up to 180. So let's go ahead and uh, carry out a substitution of the values of um, measure of angle B of G and CDF into this equation. So we have X plus 130 plus X plus 60 equals 180 degrees. Okay, now we're now going to combine like terms, x and x is 2x, uh, and then uh, 130 plus 60 is 190 degrees. 190, sorry, not degrees yet. Um, okay, so that's equal to 180. Okay, so to get x isolated, we're going to subtract 190 from both sides and then divide by 2 in that order, okay? So subtract 190 from both sides. That leaves us with 2x equals um, negative 10 because the bigger of the 2 is negative. And then divide both sides by um, 2. So that yields x equals what? Negative 5. All right. Is that our final answer? The answer is no. Remember, we are asked to find in the question, we are asked to find the measure of angle CDF. Okay? So we're going to um, make use of the following statement um, measure of angle CDF is equal to x plus 130. That's a given information. Right here, measure of angle CDF is equal to x plus 130. So that's what we're going to be using. So we have that here. And then we just substitute negative 5. So let's write out a short little note. Substitute negative 5 for x. If we carry out that substitution, measure of angle CVF is going to be negative 5 plus 130. Subtract, since the signs are different, keep the sign of the bigger, 125 degrees. Okay, so the measure of angle CDF is 125 degrees. That's the answer for problem number five. All right, let's take a look at uh, question number six. So uh, for question six, what if we're to find the measure of angle one, where the measure of angle two is equal to 11x and the measure of angle one is equal to 7x. Okay, so before we start solving, let's indicate the relationship between these two angles right here. These two angles are a linear pair. Okay, so angle one and angle two form a linear pair. What do we know about uh, a linear pair? They are supplementary, okay? 
So the equation that we can write is that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to 180, okay? The reason is because a linear pair of angles, linear pair of angles are what? Are supplementary. So that's why we can arrive at this conclusion. Okay, so let's carry out our substitution. Measure of angle one is 7x plus measure of angle two is 11x equals 180. Combine these two, 7 plus 11 is 18x equals 180. And divide both sides by 18. And then you end up with the result, x is equal to 10. Okay, remember we had to find the measure of angle one. So we are now, we remember that the measure of angle one is equal to seven x. So we're gonna substitute um, substitute 10 for x in the equation above, okay? So when we carry out that substitution, we're gonna have the measure of angle one being equal to seven times 10. Seven times 10 is 17, all right? So this is the final answer. Measure of angle one is equal to 70 degrees. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of parallel lines covered by transversal and angles, you give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very important and supportive to us. Questions and comments, just place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool geometry videos such as this. More clips can be found on mathcutserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.